Hey guys, I'm Vault, and we're here with another tutorial. This time, it's the how-to RGB tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we're going to cover how to create an RGB material from nothing. We're going to show you how to uh, add RGB to an existing texture. And I'm going to show you how I create my RGB hair toggle. So, let's get into it. I'll show you the four things you're going to need. All right, things are, you're going to need Unity. 2019.4.31 f1 all of this is going to be in the all of this is going to be in the description but you will basically need this unity version for every single one of my tutorials as well as more as well as most of the tutorials that you will see online about vroid models or vtubing in general uh you'll need uni vrm uni vrm is how you get unity to recognize vrm files without it unity won't really see vrms You'll need VSF SDK, which without VSF SDK, you can't export the model with uh, the fancy toggles and animations as well. And lastly, you'll need the, po the Poyomi shader, which is the shader we'll be using to do all the actual fun RGB stuff. Uh, the shader's free. All of this is free. Stick around, have fun. All right, we're going to stick down here for most of it, so I'm not in too much of the way of everything. Oh, hey, I got a little clipping right here. Um, but... I'm going to show you how to do this all this from scratch i had already done this before and it turned out my mic wasn't on so uh rip but i didn't actually show you how to do it from scratch so we're going to do it from scratch firstly new project 3d core project create bam we'll let that load up uh let me go ahead and find my model because i'm going to need to do that and be able to drop it in there my test model tutorial model there we go all right i got that so when this gets loaded up we'll start dropping all of our folders in that we need all right so here we it's loaded up let me go ahead and see what the hell i'm doing here all right so all this don't need go ahead and delete and we're going to start dropping in all of our stuff so firstly i'm going to drop in the uni vrm which i'm just going to drag and drop it right here into this little area down here and we're going to click import. All right, once that's done, accept all. It'll do one more loading bar and say thanks. All right, next up, we're going to drop in. Oh, before I move into the next one, you'll know it's properly installed when you see at the top left here. Uh, it says you need GT GLTF as well as VRM0. That's how you, once those are there, that's how you know it's properly installed. We'll move on to the next one being VSF SDK. Drop it in the same space. And import. All right. Now you'll know this one is properly installed. It's about to pop up again, but you see it says um, you see it says the VSF SDK at the top, so that one means this one's properly installed. As well as you'll get this folder down here that actually says VSF SDK. All right, next one is the Poimoi shader, or the I don't know. My brain always sees this and says Poimoi. It's Poyomi. I see this. It's just I can't help it. <laughs> I'm trying. Drop the Poyomi shader in. And we'll go ahead and exit out of that and import. I just exited out of my file explorer just because I didn't need it open no more. All right. And once that's done, make sure I can click on the scene here, move me around. Nothing's frozen. All right. Then we're going to just drop our model in and we're good to go. So we're going to drop in. Let me go ahead and create a folder for the model just to keep organized. Models. And we're going to create another folder for tutorial model. All right, so you'll see that I have my Balder Deem. So just ignore that when that happens. Every time I click enter, that's what happens. It's my dumb Balder Deem. Uh, then we're good to go. So we don't need anything. Oh, actually, you know what? I didn't drop my model in. I just created the um, I just created the thing for it. Uh, let me open it back up. Hold on. Models. There we go. Stock model. Drop it in the folder. And as long as you start you install the uni vrm correctly it'll pop right in see the little loading symbol it's doing something it's doing its thing i dropped it inside the folder so hopefully it actually ends up inside i didn't open it up which i should have but oh well if it pops in here no biggie all right look it looks like it plopped right into the folder awesome so we're going to go ahead and drop our model into the hierarchy go zoom in on him nice nice we got the stock model here don't need nothing fancy to do what we're doing. 
So I'm going to start with, we're going to come back out to assets. So we have a folder for models. Might as well have the folder for materials. You don't have to create this here. It's just what I'm doing. Up, ah, bald, bald. And then we're going to show you the first thing, which is how to create an RGB material. So we're just going to right click, create. We're going to go down to material. From here, we can name it whatever you want to name it. Plus tutorial. And I'll click off of it instead of clicking enter so we don't go bald again. And we're going to take that to the top right here and we're going to add the Poyomi shader into it, which is Poyomi 8.0. And then we're going to add the tune shader. And then from here, we'll come over to the color and normals. It doesn't need a texture because we're not adding anything to this. You can change the default color of it from here. You want to actually give it color. So it doesn't matter what color you add, right? You just give it a color because it needs a color to be able to actually start the RGB process. Then we're going to come over, enable color adjust and enable hue shift. Pull the hue shift up halfway, roughly. It can be anywhere. It's just like a starting color. And then we're going to pull the hue shift speed up to about five. This is just how fast it changes uh, colors. And then from here, you actually have your RGB material. And you can actually drop it on and see it in action. Though it will be like this. We're going to cover this in a moment, which is how to uh, add RGB to an uh, to an already created texture. But from here, you can control Z to go back. And you can add this to whatever you want. Um, you know, add it to the body, you know, shoes, whatever you want to be RGB. Now, if you're going to add it to the hair, right? And you see that it's only one big block of hair instead of each hair strand like I'm showing you here. What is going on is you didn't, in the extraction of the Vroid model, when you went to extract the model, you didn't uncheck, uh, what is it, combine hair meshes? When you combine the hair meshes, it creates one big block of hair instead of each individual strand like you see here. So if you see one big block of hair, you need to go back into Vroid and re-export, disable the, um, the combined hair meshes as well as disable the uh, transparent meshes or the disable the transparent, create transparent meshes. It's something like that. There's two options you can, you need to disable when exporting your model. I said the, the other one, the transparent one doesn't affect this process, but it will help you later for creating your blend shapes and whatnot. So next thing on the list is showing you how to add RGB to an already existing texture. Cause that's the next easiest one. So we'll take your, we'll click on your model here. We'll click on the actual body so you get this outline and we'll add, we'll, we'll take the shirt, right? Which is this one right here. We'll drop it down and you see it has this VRM M tune shader. We're going to go ahead and give it the Poyomi shader. 8.0 tune. And we're going to go ahead and give this immediately cut out. And then we're going to come down, add color adjust. Remember, give it a color and then add and then uh, select the drop down for color adjust, add hue shift, set it about halfway and give it about a 5.0. You can make it faster, you can make it slower, whatever. So what we do here, how this actually works over the material is you actually need to add the cutout function. Now you can add this to here and it'll kind of act the same, but it doesn't. See, it's broke. So you need to actually add it to the texture itself. How you can get the material to do this without having to do this is you have to actually take the texture. See how it has no texture up here? And this one actually has the texture. You can see the texture down here. So if you want to this material to just do the correct thing, you need to add the specific texture to this. All right. And now we're going to move on to the... Um, we're going to move on to the RGB hair. The how I do the uh, the redeem here. So this one's a little bit more complicated, not too complicated, but a little bit more more, more a little bit more complicated. So first thing we're going to go ahead and take the hair and we're going to con highlight it all, you know, over here. It's underneath the hairs function, highlight it all and control D to duplicate it. And then we're going to turn off 
the set the duplication ones right all right and then from there we're going to highlight a hair come over here this little drop down click a texture so it'll take us to to all the textures and we're going to take the hair and control d we're going to highlight it again and control d to duplicate it and then we're going to take the duplicated one let's see which one are you using okay you are using 16 it's the default one i am in the way let me fix that there we go so when you oops highlight a hair you click on it it takes you to where you need to go and it tells you it tells you that the stock one it's using is 16. i duplicated it we made 18. so 18 is the one i'm going to use for the new material so we're going to come in here create create material we're going to create that same rgb material doing the standard i hit enter again i'm dumb Boyomi tune and then this time let me move back over here we're going to go to the color and normals and this little texture part we're going to add in the 18 here our duplicated texture and we're going to change do the same stuff change it to red color adjust q shift do a five do a five and now we have that hair texture as an rgb material I'll click off over here and then from here, we can go ahead and start applying it to the duplicated hairs. So we'll take the stock hairs and we'll turn them off. Bald. We'll take the duplicated hairs and we'll turn them on. So that way the stock hairs will still have the stock lighting, stock shader, whatever you want to call that. And the new hairs, the duplicated ones, you can go ahead and take this material and start dropping it on each one. There is no faster way to do this that I've found. You can't really... Can I? Can I come in here? Highlight all. Okay, yeah, after some tests, just making sure. Yeah, there's no easy way to do this, at least for now. So yeah, just highlight each one. Not highlight, just drop it on each hair. Depending on how many hairs you have, this could take a minute. Oops, I dropped it on the wrong thing. I don't know what I dropped it on. But I'm going to just spend a minute. I'm not going to do all of these just because like I don't need to. This can, you can, you know, do this on your own. Just want to highlight a majority of them just so you can see when the redeem pops in. Or just so that you can tell that the toggle works inside of uh, BC Face. Some of these can be a little tricky. You got to drop them in like the right spot. As you see here, like this one's not wanting to texture. I got to go all the way up there. Let's start doing some on this side. Oops, didn't drag it. I'll at least get the front done, you know? Because you're not going to be looking at the back in this tutorial. And there you go. Right? Good enough. And then we're going to go ahead and disable all of these hairs. The RGB hairs. Then we're going to come re-enable the stock hairs. And now what we're going to do now is create the toggle for it. So first things first, we're going to come to the model. We're going to come over to blend shapes. Click on the third one, which is the blend shape one. And then we're going to go up top right here, create a blend shape. I'm going to call it RGB underscore hair. And then now we're going to create the animation for it. So to create the animation, we're going to highlight the stock model and then control D to duplicate the model because you don't want to do this on the same model. It causes issues. And we're going to go ahead and we'll hide the stock one, like the, the default one. I hit enter again. I don't know when I hit enter. Whoops. I've probably been being bald for a while now. We're going to highlight the duplicated one. And we're going to come down to the middle section here where the animations tab is. And we're going to create animation. We're going to create the animation for RGB underscore hair. I hit enter again. Oh, that's when I hit enter. Okay. So we'll click on that. Hit enter. Just so I'm not messing anything up. And we already have the RGB hair animation set. So we're going to record. When he records, it'll drop down. Don't worry about it. And for this animation, we're going to set all the default hairs to off. And we're going to set all the, the duplicated hairs to on. Make sure that's on. You can see the hairs down there are RGB. I don't know if you can see that or not. And now we're done. Stop recording. We're done with the animation. And delete. 
re-enable our stock one. There we go. And now we're going to give the stock model two things. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize all this so we don't have to see all this stuff everywhere. So we're going to give it one thing, but two things. So first we're going to add a, just type in VSF for VC face. We're going to add the VC face animations tab. And then we're going to add, this little plus button right here. We're going to add, it'll do a little thing where it shows you the blend shapes. We're going to add your blend shape for RGB hair. And then we're going to add the animation also for RGB hair. And from there, we're done. All right, so we'll um, come over here to the stock. And we'll go up to VSF SDK. You have to export it via VSF SDK if you want the VSF animations to stick. So we're going to export avatar. I'll drop it in my folder here. And then while that's exporting, we're going to come into VC face. Ayo! And select it. All right, there we go. Stock RGB test. Open. Select. All right, we have the RGB shirt because that's the last thing I had. But RGB hair, not that. Is it going to be under your expressions tab? That's where all your blend shapes are. And we'll find RGB hair. So it's control page up as default. I'm going to make it period on numpad just because it's easier for me. And boom, there we go. RGB hair. And then do it again. Toggle off. Neato. Well, that's that. So, we showed you how to create an RGB material from stock, from nothing. We showed you how to texture a, showed you how to add RGB to an already made texture. And I showed you how to do my RGB hair redeem. So, if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter. I'm always there after streams. I also do this kind of stuff as far as not only just gaming, but as figuring out all this Unity stuff and creating all this new stuff we do for VTubing most of the time live on Twitch. So if you want to get some, if you want to come see me do this stuff, stop by. I'm live every day at 6 p.m. EST. Other than that, if you have any questions, again, hit me up on Twitter, make a, or leave a comment down below. I usually get to those as well. And uh, I'll see you next time. We have like 10, 10 more tutorials to get to. So we'll be back. See ya.